Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And I thought that I might show you some of the whips that I am working on. I do have six active whips right now, but I am focusing primarily on two of them. Um, so let's check out whip number one. And... It is, well, I hope I didn't lose it. Nope. Here, no, that's not it. Uh-oh. Aha. Well, I'm using scraps of yarn, of only cotton yarn from, like, sugar and cream, um... And that type of yarn. It's all, you know, the four weight, thick cotton. Um, and, you know, I might undo this and use a different stitch. Last one I did, I just did half double crochets back and forth and back and forth. But um, I think I want to give it a different look. So I, or I don't know, maybe I'll just start with the different look and do a couple of rows and then go back and forth and back and forth. I will have to see. I try to add just um, one piece of yarn every day. Um, it doesn't always happen, but, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What do you think, Persephone? Uh, she doesn't really care about this. Uh, what do you think? I guess maybe she likes it. That's all right. But, yes. And this is the, a uh, lot of it is my yarn. And a lot of it is also from Shirley. Um, that she sent to me to, um, she sent me her scraps. So, I could make my scrap rug and I think I'm using an eye hook with this one here go baby girl Mwah. thank you can I put these back and you know I can't forget Persephone the co-host my co-host sometimes it works to my advantage and sometimes it doesn't work to my advantage to have her as a co-host. You know, somewhere it was told never do a TV show or a movie with cats or animals or kids because they, you know, like steal the show. That's all right. She's, she's a good one. I don't mind sharing with her. Uh, this, oh, this bag was from Ella. This has been my um, my scrap rug for, actually, since I got it. So, that one is from Ella. This one is from Seagal. You guys remember this one from Seagal? This has, um, I'm working on a pillow. For, uh... Annie's Caring Crochet Club. I don't have a lot of it done, actually. That's all I have of it done. It's not going to be a very large pillow. Um, one side is white. And the other side is pink. And, um, and then I have the stuffing to stuff it. So... This is a, a work in progress um, that will get done eventually. Okay. Well, this Annie's one, this is in an Aaron Lane bag. And this um, Annie's one I started... I think most of you guys know that I don't like boucle yarn. 
And this is the lovely Lapgan. So I have started that one. And uh, midway through, not even midway through, I would say I was on my, starting my fourth, oops, oops, I might have to have Jan fix that. Um, I was getting ready to start my fourth row and I... Uh, the yarn wasn't even connected. I'm not even sure how that happened. So I've got to figure out a way to connect the yarn. I guess I'll have to use maybe, a, what is it, a Russian join or something like that. But, oh, Persephone likes it, so that's a good thing. It'll make somebody very, very happy eventually. So this is, can I, thank you. So this is what it looks like. And it's, it's a lap blanket size. I just have to put the yarn back together and finish it. So, and I'm using a, what am I using? A 10 millimeter hook with this one. Alrighty, so I'll rush and join those um, soon. Okay, the two that I am focusing on, one of them is um, Lether's 13 Days of Halloween. I figured out what I did wrong when I ordered this. I ordered the sock weight version and not the DK version, which is why I could not figure out why I was having such a hard time getting it finished on the first day. Um, well, because it was sock version. So this is the first day right here, and this is the second day. And this is the third day. Um, it is going to be a table runner um, <clears throat> or maybe a teeny tiny scarf. I'm not sure. I have ten more colors to add, so it might be big enough for a really cool looking scarf. And the next color, I have it all wound up. It's kind of a purpley, a purpley black color. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks purpley. Yeah. And I'm using a 4.5, I think. Yes, a 4.5 with this one. So I do a, I try to do a, maybe about four or five rows a day on this. Um, Halloween is over, so I have until next Halloween to finish it. I don't think it'll take me that long, but it might. Um, and after I finish this one, I will start working again on the uh, Rocky Horror one. I still just have this piece. I guess I can show what day two looks like because I don't even know. But... Here was day one, right here, and let's see what day two is. Oh, it's kind of a pink color, and here's the pink color right there, and... The color is Rose Tint My World. And um, I've only seen Rocky Horror a couple of times. So I'm thinking there might, it says song by the same title. So I think that, oh, you like that yarn? She likes this yarn. <laughs> so I'm thinking that there might be um, rose colored. So. There's a song in there called that. 
So that is the color that I will get to eventually. And I'm using the same hook, the 4.5, that I'm doing with um, the Hocus Pocus from Lether. Okay, so let me get this in here. And the one that I'm working the fastest on, um, because it's not the same, well, technically it is the same stitch, but it's a different pattern that I can use um, or that's used on almost every row. Almost. This is, um, I'm using La Mia Silky, and it's the color L013. It's kind of a um, pale orange, of course. And I just did halfway, I just got halfway through and this is the yarn that I have left from being halfway through. And I have two more skeins of it um, that I'll be able to use to finish it up. And it does have a border on the long sides. But here is um, the filet crochet so far. It's called Where the Heart Is. And now, um, on here, I'll be working the rows backwards so the hearts will be this way on, on both sides. So, yes, I'm right in the middle, and now I'm going to start working backwards. So, this is what I've been feverishly working on. And I am using a three, a 3.25 with that one. <laughs> Dear Sally, she likes me to scratch her nose. So, this one should be done in a couple of days. Perhaps, maybe about three or four, depending upon um, how much crochet time I get. Well, I think that's all. So, uh, what should I crochet next? I know I have lots of projects going on, but this one will be done soon. So, what should I do? Persephone, what do you think I should do next? Oh, something for you? <laughs> I think she wants me to make her something. All right, Persephone and I are signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I love you all, and have a great day. Can you say bye-bye? Say bye. Nope. Okay. There she goes. Bye-bye. <laughs>